Okay, prepositional pronoun, re, to, against, or with. Okay. And is it also the, it's used along with some verbs, and the verb I chose with, to uh, go over this one was brian, to speak. Um, so brian, re, so brian, re, mari would be speak to Mary. Brian, re, Callum, speak to Callum or Malcolm, as it is in English. And Brian re teacher to a teacher. Brian reach in teacher speak to the teacher. Brian rima ven speak to my wife. Brian reach in dunyakim to my husband. I guess Brian re mohele speak to my partner. Rain. Rucht, rish, rie, rein, rive, rue. The pronoun with re, breaking it down, it means re, me, but in Gaelic we never say re, me, we never say to me. You would say it in English, but re, me, to me becomes one word, which is rome. So speak to me, brain, rome. Brain, rome. Ruft, ha me a brain ruft. I am speaking to you, singular. Brian Rish would be speak to him. In row u brain Rish, were you speaking to him? Rie, re e would be to her. Rie, be me a brain rie a hulawa. I speak to her every day. Re Shane, Re Shane would be to us. Rain, rain. Corson a ha yet a brain rain mershin. Why, Corson? Corson a ha yet the brain, why are they speaking? Corson yet the brain rain, why are they speaking to us like that? In other words, it was somebody that was being a wee bit bad mannered. <laughs> she might be speaking to us like that. Rave, reshave, rave. Bami a brain rave in J, nachro. I was speaking to you yesterday, wasn't I? You could also be that, could also be I was speaking to you as a class, two or three people in J, nachro. Rue, re, yad. Have you seen a brain rue? We don't talk to them. We don't talk to them, do we not speak to them? Have you seen a brain rue? So that could be a neighbour you're not, you've fallen out with, you don't talk to them, or a family member or whoever. <laughs> Or a friend you've fallen out with, our friends. So, have you seen your brain ruin? So, Natalie. Hello. Have you seen your brain ruin? So, room, rift, rish, rie, rain, rave, ruin. Okay, Pauline, I want you to say these. See how we get on with the sounds. Rome, root, reach, rear, ring, reeve, rua. Okay, ma. So, Rome, root, the T like a tita. Rome, root, 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 root is the Gaelic for root. So be careful. So we've got this I in it, okay? So, Ruft. 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 Aha. Like an itch in front of the T. Ruft. 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 Right, I'll practice that. Okay. All right then. And then Ruft. see, rain. This one here is rain, is the pronoun that we're doing just now. But also, R I N N is rain, which is the past tense of to do something. Rain me a. Be careful with the, these, that sound, how really intricate the sounds are. So, okay. rain, 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 rain. Okay. 
So it's like an H in front of that in root. There's like a, a like an a, um, a lenition itch sound in front of them to make it softer. Right, got you there. Thank you. Okay. So let's try it, uh, Fiona. Um, room. 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 Roofed. That's it. Reef. Rear. Uh -huh. uh, rain. Reef. Reef. Rua. That's it. Gleva. Mm -hmm. uh, Caroline. Rau. Mm -hmm. Raucht. Roofed. Roofed. The I has got to be there, but it's not too pronounced. So, Roofed. 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 Uh -huh. Reef. Ria, Rhine, Reef, Ryuta, Rua, Rua. The TH is silent. Rua, Rua. Gleva. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, this rain. Say rain, not rain. 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 Judy. Rum. Rut. Rish, Ria, Rain, Reef, Rua. Clever. Mm -hmm. Divey. Rua, Rish, Rish, Ria, Rain, Re, Ruha. Rua. Rua. Uh -huh. as, as if the TH was not there. Yeah. Rua. Catherine? Rum, Root, Rish, Ria, Rhein, Reeve, Rua. Okay, it's the Rhein again. If you say Rhein, that's I did something. Rhein, this is Rain. 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 I goes further back in your in Rain. Rain. Uh -huh. Clever. Okay, so practice these ones. They're quite, quite hard to see initially, but. Again, practice makes perfect. Gleva. <coughs> so, Hami of Brian Duth, how would you ask the question in that one? Uh, Fiona. Uh, Hami of Brian Duth. Hami of Brian Duth is the statement. But I'm right. saying, make a sentence, a question out of that. Um, it's ha, so your question would be? Uh, avail mm -hmm. um, u a bruin mm -hmm. rucht. Room. All right, room. Yeah, so avail u a bruin room. <laughs> your rucht and the room interchange, okay? Yes. You could say, Ever me a bria, ever me a bria and ruht. Am I speaking to you? You could still say that. That's quite okay. Or, Ever u a bria and ruht. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> How would you make the positive in the next one? And ro u a bria and rish a gaivi. How would you say that in a positive sentence? Um, va u a bria and rish. That's it, Gleva. Be me a brian ria hulala. Ask the question, Pauline. Um, um, be a uh, brian um, ria hulala. Gleva, well done, yeah. Kosona ha iat a brian rain marshin. Make that a negative sentence, Catherine. Um, Casson a uh, hanil ied a bruin rin marsh. Uh -huh. So you don't need the casson because your casson would be the question. So hanil ied a bruin rin. Hanil ied a bruin rin marsh. Cleva. Vami a bruin rive in J nachro. Okay. 
Ivan Yevgin Regenji Nakhro. I wasn't speaking to you yesterday. Make it the negative, and I'll give that to um, Judy. Um, Charel me a brian rig and Jane Achro. Charo me a brian drive and Jane. Charo me a brian drive and Jane. Chavish in a brian drew. Make that into a positive statement. Uh, Fiona. Be sheen a brewing rua. Leva, well done. So you've got good neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So that's it, as I say. So these sentences I've made up there. Just play around with them, make them, if they're a negative sentence, turn them into a questionable sentence or, or vice versa, make them into a positive answer, that kind of thing. And just play around with that. Good. Now, the other way to say rish, to translate it, can mean it's against. <coughs> Not in the sense of playing against a team. That's a different word. But if you want to play something against a wall, just say, Kushin rish evabel. Kushin rish evabel. Place that against the wall. So it's basically saying, put that to the wall. Hik kola room would be, come with me. And I made this emphatic, room sir. So hik kola room sir would be, come with me. See, somebody wanted you to go to the pictures or something. And they weren't very keen on going on the road. So I'll come with me then, come with me. Hik kola room or hik kola room sir. Hala kolarish would be go away with him. And hala on its own means just get out of my road. Hala, get lost. You can say that to your dog. You can say it to your partner or to or the children or whatever. Just when you're just at the stage of garlic's got too much for you. <laughs> it's so at the end, you're saying, oh, I can't cope with this. <laughs> uh, hala. So hala emach is go out. And uh, highlight on its own is just what we say for get it, go away, get fed up from the person. Hala, who's hala kola is with hala kola rish with him. Okay, rish. Gleva, so uh, to or against or with. So we've done that. So that's against rish of um, <clears throat> And then kola room. Or call it rish, call it you. Go away with them would be Caroline. Um, Hala, Komla, Ryu. Hala, Hala, Komla, Ryu. Hala, Komla, Ryu. Come with. Us, Davy. Um, come with us. Cola rain. Cola rain. Yeah. So he could call rain. Would be come with us. Hami mm -hmm. at all. Right. So I'm going to now do a doll. Hami a doll and then the infinitive to sing or to read, etc. Hami a doll, I am going, and then the infinitive. So last week we, we did Hami a shine, Hami a leave. This time I'm going to introduce the infinitive to that. So, Hanyel me a doll a hain in the rasta. I am not going to sing just now. I am going to sing just now. I am going to read a leveg skialok. I am going to read a story. I am going to read a story. 
am ég dó skrifig bardog, I am going to write poetry. How would you say I am writing poetry? Am ég skrifig bardog. Am ég skrifig bardog. What would be the difference in the spelling or the writing of it? It wouldn't be a G. It would be an apostrophe after the A. That's it. So, Hami is skrivig. I am writing would be A apostrophe. But here there's no, in this sentence here, there's none because that is too right. Well done, Eva. Hami adol evrien rish in teacher. I am going to speak to the teacher. <clears throat> I am going to speak to our teacher, Judy. Hami adol evrien ri teacher. That's it. Perfect. Well done. Va e adol a choshok a mach. He's at a meeting. He got fed up. He was going to walk out. Va e adol a choshok a mach. Chanyer mi adol a chamoch car ur in blione. What would that be, do you think, Davy? Um. I am not going to buy a car this year. Uh -huh. I'm not going to buy a new car, car ur. I'm not going oh. to buy a new car this year. This year. <clears throat> I am buying a new car would be, Catherine? Hami a kianoch car ur a bliana. Yeah, Gleva. Yeah, you take away the omission. You've added the e apostrophe. Well done. Hami a doll a yori taxi. A yori is to want or to ask for. Hami a doll a yori taxi. I am going to ask for a taxi. Or you can see I'm going to get, I don't like the word to get, but there you go. I'm going to get a taxi, that's how you can see it. Hami a doll a yori taxi, I'm going to ask for a taxi. How would you say, I'm wanting a taxi? Pauline. Uh, Hami, um, a giri taxi. Yep. You're, the wanting becomes ig yuri and your ig yuri. Uh -huh. So your ADH apostrophe, well, goes out, out the window yeah. and you put your AG. Well done, Reva. I'm a giri. Chanyan misha utole yeri tra indu. I am not going to get up early today. Chanyer misha utole yeri tra indu. I get up early every day. How do you say that, Fiona? Um, is misha ag eri tra Ahulala. So B Misha. All oh, right, yes. Okay. So B Misha Egeri Tra Hulala. Viva. B Misha Egeri Tra Hulala. Hami Adola Yun Sochu Gaelic. I am going to learn Gaelic. Hami Adol U Yun Sochu Gaelic. I am learning Gaelic. Judy. Um, I mean, uh, I, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. I mean, a game so I am. I mean, a game so good, Gaelic. But I am going to learn. I mean, a dog a game so good, Gaelic. Hello. I am going to learn Gaelic. I am learning Gaelic. That would be the weather we'll be talking about. Ha i e tolegas nishar. 
I am getting better would be Catherine. Um, um, me a fast nashar. I'm a fast nashar. That's it. Cleva, well done. Ha e a tall a yusklug jaluan. Ha e a tall a yusklug jaluan. He is going to open on Monday. So see, he had a shop or something. He's going, that's how we would say it. He is going to open on Monday. Ha e e fusklug jaluan would be he is opening on Monday. Ha e e fusklug jaluan. Chanyel e e tolu gurach an in nalapu. He is not going to live in Scotland. Chanyel e etol e gurach an in nalabe. He is not going to live in Scotland. He is going to live in England. Davy. Um. He is going to live in England. Uh, how are you? An assassin. An assassin. He is living in America. He is living in America. Judy. Uh, yeah. in America. Gleva, well done. Okay. So that's what we've got. We've got the infinitive a. a, a and then lenition. Elevig is the same way because it doesn't lenite, but you have an apostrophe for the verbal noun. Elevig and also escrivig apostrophe for the verbal noun. But this is the infinitive. And then you have lenition for all the rest where a lenition can work. With a vowel, a dh apostrophe, a yori and a yonsochig, and then your verbal noun then becomes ug, a g, and then a giri, ig ig eri, anything with a vowel. Gleva, well done. You've done very well tonight, today.